And I'm going to need my So we should be recording here. Uh, let me see if the tablet works. I'm going to use the whiteboard here. Hmm. Whiteboard. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they updated something. <laughs> uh, all right, great. So it works. Um, yeah. So today we're gonna cover grab and off. Mainly, we'll we'll do these things on uh, on the VM. Just some new commands. So giving you some intuition as to what grep and awk are. So basically grep is a command, as we have seen in the command pipeline for grabbing things, right? So we, we issue a command and then we can uh, grab things. So the example that you've seen me do is uh, net stat a lot, right? And then I do something like dash na pipe and then grep TCP, right? So basically you, you gather some data, you pipe it into the next step and then you grip it. So that should be familiar to you. So today we're just gonna start adding a little bit more to it. So we're gonna add this idea of something called awk, which, which is, so grep is spelled like this, grep. And then awk is spelled A-W-K. Now you, there's a whole book on this, right? So it's a very powerful, thing, but you can almost think of it as Excel for the command line, if that makes sense, right? So it thinks of things that come out of grep as almost like an Excel spreadsheet. So you can think of it as having rows, columns, and then you can do processing based on that. So that's kind of what it is, is extremely powerful. And so that's what we're going to cover today. Just, you know, simple examples of how to use this. Okay. And then I'll, I'll, kind of illustrate maybe a problem for you guys to try basically uh, to solve. All right, so base, so let's go over some of the you know definitions. So grep basically uh, is very powerful. It searches its input for lines containing a given pattern. So that's the formal definition of it. Okay, and I'm not gonna write this down because it's already written in the PDFs that I provided on Brightspace. But yeah, grep searches its input for lines containing a given pattern. Then we have uh, awk. awk. And awk provides ways, ways to add or slice data. Okay, so that's the idea. So for instance, you know, something pipes in, right, into awk. Imagine it's something like, you know, something like this. This is x1. You know, this is X2. You know, this is X3. And then via awk, you can do something like, I just want X2. And then, you know, you then pipe that in to the next step. Does that make sense? So there's a specific syntax that it has, but it's all command line uh, to be used uh, with the command prompt. So basically, users use grep 
uh, to search files. Uh, example, for instance, we want to find out all about a certain user's uh, current processes, right? So, so for instance, we can do the use the ps command and then use grep. Okay, so let's try that out. Just a very simple uh, scenario. Let me, just, let me stop sharing. I need to be good about this because I get stops recording sometimes. All right, so I'm going to start the virtual machine. So I'm, we're going to just start writing some, you know, some commands. Basically, you can follow along of how to use both of these or start to use some of these. We'll give it a minute. Okay, so we can log in. So Open up a terminal. And let's just, uh, I don't think we'll be writing that much, many, that many scripts today, but uh, we are going to, I'm still going to navigate to the desktop. TNS372. Ring. All right, so basically let's do something like PS, which is one of the commands that you know about. Okay, and you can see here we have uh, a lot of processes, right? So, you know, we see some things like root, Debian, uh, seed, right? So let's just grab maybe root. All right, so I just wanna look at, so basically, you know, the PS command data, you know, the PS command gives me some data about processes, as you probably remember. And now we're gonna pipe those in to, oops, sorry, to grep, okay? So I'm gonna pipe them into grep and I'm gonna say maybe root. And as you can see now, basically it gives you the lines that contain root in them. Okay, so that's the that's the usefulness of it. Let's, let's look at something that has less information, like maybe MySQL, right? MySQL, so hopefully that one has less. So let's do MySQL. You see that? So we only have a few lines that two, two rows, but contain, you know, the that pattern in there. And so that's what grep is really good for, right? And we can use it to filter our data. All right, so the awk command uh, can be used to selectively manipulate uh, the output of other commands, okay? And it's a more, in a, in a more general way than grep, basically. So awk can be good for picking, picking out and possibly rearranging columns, okay? So, uh, you know, as I said, a good intuition of this is, um, you know, like it's uh, like an Excel kind of a thing. So in this example, we've done PS, we grepped uh, MySQL, right? 
And now let's try to print. Let's see if we can, can print uh, only one field from each line. Okay. So let's try to do that. So how would we proceed to do something like that? Now we're going to introduce the awk command. Okay. So I'm going to do PS like that and then grep my SQL and then awk, oops, sorry, awk, A W K. And then we need to get the syntax correct. So it would be curly brackets and then print. And we need to indicate the column that we want. So dollar sign, let's say one, for instance. Okay, so we're gonna try that one. And as you can see, it gives me column one. Does that make sense, guys? So Excel, Excel on the command line, <laughs> right? And we're gonna do actually, we can do like averaging, sums, all that. And just basically that's the intuition. So this prints only the first field from you know from each line of the PS output. Let's try uh, number two, for instance. We got numbers now. What if I asked you for these to give me the total, you know, of that that is probably like the size of files in there, right? So I, I ask you for the total of um total size being used by MySQL. So then you can add these two values up, for instance. Make sense? Yeah, so maybe I'll give you a problem where I ask you find the files in a folder and give me the, you know, the sum of it, for instance. Or what percentage is that in, you know, in relation to the hard drive space? So something like that. Okay, so let's try uh, number, you know, another one. So oops, number three. I got rid of both of these curly bracket and the single quote. So that should be those numbers. Um, yep. then what else do we want to do? Let's just keep going Four, five, six, five, right? And so on. So we can, let's, I guess seven is the last one, I think. Nope. Nine is the last. Nope. Um, like twelve. All right, but you get the idea. All right, so awk retrieves columns, and it can also average out a column of numbers. Okay, or it can sum, etc. So it's a very powerful tool. So let's think, for instance, of the following uh, scenario. Uh, you know, let's say that you're gonna you have a problem that says the division director of your company wants to know what percentage of the total disk space of a given server is used by the chemistry group. Okay, so then you'd have to find all the files owned by chemistry group, right? Uh, and then basically calculate, you know, a, a total of size. And then basically, you know, that that would be a, a scenario where you could use grep. Okay. All right. Um, let's do another example here. Clear. So another example of grep, um, we can, once again, we go back to that ETC password file, wd. Okay, we have some files in there. Let's say that we wanna just grep some information in there. So we could do grep seed etc passwd. And you can see basically this allows us to extract from the past WD file, the entry for the seed account. We can do the same for root. And you can see, you know, we've got our information there. It does capture ch root, which is not exactly 
but you guys get the idea. Any questions? All right, um, so we, we tried that. Let's, let's try another example. What if you want to recursively retrieve data from a folder, right? So in this case, uh, let's look at the ETC folder, okay? So I'm gonna do, let's do a clear here, clear. I'm gonna do grep dash R. And then we need to figure out what text might be in there. So um, that's, you know, we're gonna have to check that folder in there, but let's just say something like something small, the letter A, a for instance, uh, and then ETC. And you can see there's actually quite a bit in there related to, well, it has the letter A, right? So there's a lot, actually, there's quite a bit. I was actually thinking of the folder temp, not ETC. That's a lot of okay, finished. Yeah, so I was thinking of the temp folder. And it finds a few items in there that have the letter A. So I guess there's, uh, what, permission, for instance. Okay, so let's do permission. And you can see everything related to that. So pretty simple, I would think. Now we want to do another example where we sum some values, right? So we, let's see if we can't sum some values. Uh, so let's say we have, um, yeah, so, so let's try it first, I guess. We can do... We did um, this one, right? So, yeah. So we try this with, uh, I think it was one. Let's first do actually just the whole thing. Okay. So we got two values here, right? 10, 15, and 28, 262. So what if we wanted to add these? Right, or maybe we want to add these. So, so let's try how we could accomplish that. So I'm going to do ps aux, pipe it in, grab my SQL, and then pipe it into aux, and I'm going to say aux, single quote, curly bracket, curly bracket, sum equal sum plus dollar sign. Uh, column um, two, I guess. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, so these are the two values. So how how do you think we can uh, add these? Not just this. Hmm.
So if we do Not giving me the result. I guess one. Try. Okay. Print some. Nope. Let me try this out. It should be Prince of the Travis. So that gives me the 1015 and the 29451. But I'm not Oh, there it is. Is that uh, is that correct? Maybe not, huh? Is that correct? Twenty twenty nine thousand four fifty one plus one thousand fifteen should be. It's not. It's not adding it correctly. Is it? Hmm. Actually, increasing. Okay. Yeah, so it should be up. All right, I'm going to try this again because it might just be something with the column. So it should be PS, then grab, and then in awk, we open 
some variable here. So I'm going to do this notation sum plus equal. And then the variable that we want, so it should be plus two. And then end. And then we just print that value. Um, so I get 2955, which is not correct, right? Twenty nine two eight five four twenty nine five fifty five. So it is correct, actually. Let's see. All right, so. We're trying to add 2852 or 28544 plus 10, 15. So that's 95529. So it doesn't quite add up. Do you guys see that? that they don't quite add up. Add up. Oh, I don't know. So let's try another column, I guess. Let's try one, two, three, four, five. So 184, it's a big number. 184.76.37. Plus nine. What do you guys think about that one? Then? Do they add up? So it should be one eight four seventy six thirty six, right? Plus nine thirty two. One eight five six 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 eight. Okay, so it is working. Do you guys see that? So this is how you. So I don't know why the other one might have been a different kind of number, or maybe I the the variable was just in memory and had kept something. But this one does add up. Okay. Any questions? So that's a uh, basic approach. So again, you may need this, right? If I give you a problem like calculating the total space in a folder for a specific user or a group. So it's an important um, script. So in this case, the input here wouldn't be probably, if I give you a problem, it would be like DF, right? Which is the folder information or, or size, but this, this is just an example. So grep mysql and then awk it's a single quote curly bracket sum dollar sign five and curly bracket and curly bracket print um, single quote. Okay. All right. So that's a good example. Uh, let's see what would happen with other formats like these with colons. These are time. So that's probably going to be if this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try that one. Thirty-four. So I'm betting it added these two, right? So, so 14, 34, yeah. Does that make sense, guys?
All right, so oh, you may need that. Okay. All right, so let's uh keep going. So that's you know some examples of grep and awk. Uh, another uh one that we're gonna look at is something called the find command. So we'll take a look at that one as well. Um. Okay. But I've given you an example of how all can just print out a specific column and also how it can be used to sum. So obviously if I add it, I can also subtract, I can multiply, I can divide and various other operations. All right, so um, let's take a look at other examples. So let's see. Let's let's continue with this uh, data here. Bigger. All right. So I'm going to clear here. Oops. Clear. All right. And let's actually it's, it's down. All right. So I want to find some other rows in here. So let's take a look. So I got these two and I just want to awk a column that contains a value. Do you guys see that? So maybe the value, so of these I want the value uh, R plus. So that, that one, for instance, for whatever reason. So I'm gonna do this one, awk. Uh, single quotes. And then I'm going to try here. Let's do dollar sign four equal. Oh, and, and it's not four. Um, R plus, right? So I want R plus. This one was nine, so eight probably. this in curly brackets. Well, it should be. Let's try seed in here. Would be the first one. One. I'm saying we should. Try removing this. Nope. Oops. So he here printed zero and one. Okay, so now I'm going to do my SQL here. one and zero. Do you guys see that? So it's giving me like a Boolean. I do. Let's try column two.
And let's try 1015. Right, so there it is. So it's giving me that it's in the top row. Let's try three, four, five. And the value is going to be 932, 9032. Yeah, zero. Do you see that? So basically, we're, you know, it gives us the, like the Boolean condition there, basically. All right. Uh, we can do other operations like in a, like, you know, in sequence. So let's go back to the previous example where we were doing the sum. All right, so we're going to go back to the previous example where we were doing the sum here. And in, and so this one prints out um, 34, right? So now what we want to do is do an operation on sum. So for instance, sum divided by uh, 3. 11.31. Do you guys see that? So you can actually add more operations. Okay, any questions? Making sense? So this is basically just, uh, you know, grep and pop. Okay. All right, um, let's look at another example now using, you know, the file system. So clear, we know that DF gives us information about the disk, right? The hard disk space, percentage, number of bytes, et cetera, right? So let's do df-h gives us a little bit different format. Okay, this is for the whole system. Then let's say now that you want to just look at one of these, for instance, dev sda5. So then I'm going to do this and I'll pipe it into um, grep. And I'm going to say, for instance, dev sda5. And as you can see, now it only gives me, right, if I'm not, if I'm correct, I did this one, it gives me this information. Do you guys see that? Make sense? All right, so now let's just print out the value that we might want. So what I'm gonna do, pipe, and let's say we want, uh, which column we want, probably. The 36%, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to say awk, right? Print dollar sign, loop five, right? Like that. And you can see it gives me the 36%. Make sense, guys? All right, let's try another one. Let's go to your desktop, for instance. So how do we do that? Is there a way for me to select a folder? So what can I do? Right, so we need to figure out how to get just a specific folder and get its information, then grab that, you know, something about it, and then uh, print the results. Okay. 
right? So keep going. <clears throat> So we're going to do the problem now of calculating uh, disk space. Let's see if we can't figure it out. Let me clear here. Okay. Okay. So let's do LS. So where are we? PWD. Okay. LS dash home dash seed, okay, dash lowercase l, dash lowercase l, uppercase r. That gives us a lot of information, I think, about home. All right, a lot, actually. So we just, I just want from this, the information related to a specific user. So how do I how do I get that? What do you guys think? And I realize it's still going. Right. So the command I just did is ls dash or ls space home seed and then dash lr and it gives me all this output. Now I just want to select um, the user seed information. Oh, I'll still go. All right. So, so how do we do that? Clear. Let's try. So ls home seed type and let's try awk um single quote number four equal seed for instance okay so this is still a lot Right, so we probably want to narrow this down to just a desktop because it's a lot of information keeps. Right, so I'm going to repeat the command, but only the desktop. Okay, better, right? So a little bit more manageable. Okay. So repeat, we're going to repeat. LS home seed desktop. So now I'm getting all the information from there. Um, and then awk, I guess in this case, everything is gonna be for seed, so we can do something else, but yeah, we've got the information here. Now, what do we want? Maybe we want to uh, sum all of this, right? And that would give us all the space being used by seed in this system? Do you guys think? So the, the question, I think I read the question, right? So you, the director of your organization wants to know how much space on the server is being used by a specific account, a group, et cetera. So how do we do that? Well, we could possibly sum all of this right, this column, 
and then we would know basically how much is being used. Do you guys agree? That'd be a good approach. All right, so LS home, C desktop, and then awk. So now what do we need to do? We need to grab um, this column, right? So it would be, I guess, one, two, three, maybe column four or five. One, two, three, oh, five, because this is a, a column. All right, so we're going to say awk. And we're going to sum that column and then print it. So how do I do that? Um, sum plus equal, right? Number five. Right. Um, oh, we need to put in curly bracket here, curly bracket there, and curly bracket print <coughs> sum. Single quote. And I think I have a single quote here. But... Do you think that'll work? All right, let's try it. So that's the number right there. Any questions? We should do a simpler one just to make sure this works. So one easy thing we can do is just go to a smaller folder, right? So I'm gonna do ls-l here. I'm gonna navigate into Case Aurora, for instance. Okay. Clear. L. Right. So this math we can do right in our heads and just to corroborate that it does work. So I'm going to run the command again. It should be now. Oh, let's get the, the PWD. Uh, PWD. All right. So now we're going to do ls home c desktop right forward slash its 372 spring 2024 case aurora LR and then oxy just to show that we can grab something that's different. Um, and then ox sum, which should be the same one. Yeah. So this let's let's run it. Okay, so that gives me 183. Let me change that variable. So I've noticed that someone, someone, nope. okay. so this gives me All these files. It's correct, I guess, right? So I don't know why I was seeing fewer values, so I'm, I'm confused. All right, so let's see. We're going to print the values. That's everything we have in there. What we want to do is add these up. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to now ls the whole folder, case Aurora.
and I'm going to awk by something. I'll use this later. And then I'm going to add up, I'm going to create, change the name, this to sum two. Sum two keeps giving me that number. Do all of these add up to that, do you think? What do you guys think? Let's try um, to use this awk over here. So I'm going to filter by Jan, Jan, for instance. Um, so, or um, Jan, Jan. So it's one, this is five, so it should be six. Okay, so six here. And then instead of seed, I'm gonna do Jan. Or actually, I'm gonna do April. So April. Okay, there we go, yeah. Do you guys see? So this makes a little bit more sense because the April ones are smaller. 7569. So let's add all the April ones to see that it gives us 7569. I know it's a lot, but I couldn't figure out how to make it smaller. So what are the values here? 618. Uh, what's the other one? April, right? 4096. 1412. 75. 174. 6 and 8. Do you guys see any? And there's 1180, correct? That seems to be around 7,000. Let me try. Six, 618 plus 4096 plus 1412 plus 75 plus 174 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1180. Yep, 75.69. See? All right, so now you know how to solve that problem, right? So we can go back and read it again. Right, so the problem, uh, the division director of your company wants to know what, okay, it's asking for percentage, but wants to know what percentage of the total disk space of a given server is used by the chemistry group. So does this help you to answer that question? Do you agree? It does, right? So here, if you look, I'm grabbing a folder with ls so that so this part grabs the folder in question so that could be the whole hard drive for instance i mean in theory uh then i filtered you know i just filtered the april to make it smaller e easy enough to corroborate and then we just took the column that had the sizes and added it basically Make sense? All right, so if you wanted to get the percentage, what would you need also? Probably the total disk space, right? And then just divide the two, basically. But this kind of shows you how this works. All right, yeah, so that's it. Any questions on this example? It's just a, a way of, of illustrating a you know, scenario of using wrap and up, you know, something fun to do. Okay. 
think I've shown everything. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna cover then is the find command. Okay, so that's you know something similar. Um, so this is another one. Let me do clear here. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. You can check out the notes on on the on Brightspace of, of the syntax. So the the next command is the find command. Find like that one. Okay. Uh, find basically locates files with common specified characteristics. Okay, and you've got some flags for it. Uh, so basically, the the syntax. I'm going to switch over to the um, whiteboard here. Okay, I'm gonna. That okay, so fine. We'll have the format like that. So this is the terminal, and you can type find, and then basically where to look, where to look, right? And then the matching criteria. Okay, so the matching right. Okay, so that's basically, um, you know, how you can approach this. Now, this matching criteria is actually several flags that you provide to the find command. Okay, so you can have, for instance, okay, time. So basically, you say, you know, find dash a time n okay and basically that stands for the file accessed n days ago okay so this file was accessed n days ago okay so that way you can look for files that you know you, you're looking for a c file from two months ago right so so you're gonna use n uh to specify that Another flag that's available for the find command is size. Okay, uh, so something like dash size n. And uh, the size of file is specified in blocks of 512 bytes. So basically then you would have to do something like n times 512. So you'll have to do the math there, okay? to figure out what you want. Got it? So I will give you this as a problem for you guys to solve, because I think this is a lot easier. Um, probably won't give you a Grepanov, unless you want it. All right, um, so let's do name. So that's another flag for fine, so dash name uh nam in this case and name you know the name it would be in, in nam okay so that's the name okay so let's do let's look at an example of this oops let's look at an example example all right, so on the terminal, you're gonna type find, and you're gonna say, I, I'm just doing this to indicate that that's one thing, right, the where. I'm writing a dot there. And then I'm gonna say dash name. That dash print. Okay, so what do you guys think this is doing? This find command. What's it doing? 
Brian looks for things, right? But you need to tell me what it's looking for and where. Where is it looking? This is the where, right? What does the dot mean? Current working directory. Yes, exactly. Very good. What if I had written this? Parent. Go back. Like when we do cd dot dot. That's what it stands for. All right. What about this part here? What is this doing? This is the pattern, right? With the flag. So what type of a search is it doing? So it's going to look for files that have a name that meets this condition. So this just means all basically C files. Do you see that? So all C files. So it's got the extension and then this is like a wild card. Got it? Make sense? All right, so that's yeah, just a intuition there. So that should be good. All right, so I'm gonna give you now a problem for you guys to work on, but not a grep and awk one, although I'm sure you can do one of those too. It'll just be a, a fine command. Okay. So, so I'm gonna make it a homework. It'll be easy. All right, so I gave you dash a time, name and size. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop this one. Now I'm gonna share. I'm gonna go to Brightspace. Okay. Under Grepanoc here, all the materials are here, find Grepanoc, etc. And I'm just going to create a problem. Oh, I think I may already have it in here. Okay, so... Yeah, there you are. So these are the two, pro I already had it in there. So these two problems, I'm, what I'm assigning, I basically did this one, right? So let's take a look. So using Grepanoc, do the following. The division director of your company wants to know what percentage of total disk space in your server is used by the chem group or user X. So it doesn't have to, you don't have to create a directory, just what we did basically gave you the total and then you can divide that by the, total disk space and get the percentage. Got it, guys? Does that make sense? Is that clear enough, right? We did that one. And then number two, using find, do the following. Display a list or directory listing of all files under some directory, example, chem, which are larger than one megabyte and haven't been modified in one month. And I just showed you the flags for that. Any questions? All right. Perfect. So this is your homework. I'm going to create the assignment link for this, just these two problems. Uh, and it's going to be due a week from today. Okay. So it should be fun. I mean, just this one, you know how to do it. Just do it yourself. Like repeat what I did. And then this one, you will have to think about it. But I think this one's a lot easier. All right. So let me create the link.
all the and you can read through these documents it's pretty much what i covered today okay so assignment all this homework points all right so today is april 4th so it's going to be due on april 11th at 10 p.m complete the two problems in the attached word Problem one, graph and hawk. Problem two, find, find command. Okay, so that should be, you can work on this. And it's gonna stay open until the 13th, okay? All right, any questions, is it clear enough? Just provide screenshots that you did, um, and you know you'll submit your PDF report. Submit that to. All right, so I'm uh, I finished the demo for today, so I'm going to stop the recording here.